Welcome back everyone to Dragon Quest 8 Journey of the Curse King. We had a big old like dump of dialogue and cutscenes and stuff and I apologize for that. Um, but now we're going to be getting in some action, some beefy action. We've got a bit of a boss fight on our hands right now so let's go and do that. We're going to be fighting the Lord of Dragovians today. Not before going through the labyrinth which is going to be kind of a pain. But um, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. I believe we can just go straight down here, I think. I don't think we have to speak to anyone else. There's this guy guarding the door, but we sh should be alright. Beyond this door lies the path to the heavenly dais. I have been instructed to allow you through whenever you wish. You may pass. I'm sure the Lord of Dragavians will be waiting for you on the heavenly dais. Alright, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. Now listen to me carefully. I cannot approach the Lord of the Dragovians in his present state, lest he drain my own strength away. Thus, I cannot accompany you to the dais, but I'll be fighting alongside you in spirit. I believe in you. I know you can bring the Lord of the Dragovians back to his senses. There we go. I guess you can kind of count this the last, technically last dungeon. We're basically just above like a bunch of clouds. It looks really cool. I'll say that. Oh, Munchie! Where the hell have you been, bro? Where have you been? Naughty. Probably smoked cheese, that's what it is. They seem to like cheese, so. So yeah, alright, welcome to the Heavenly Deus. It's very sort of misty, um, and yeah, just a bunch of like crazy branching paths and bridges and stuff, some broken off. Uh, I don't think it matters if we go left or right, I think they all lead the same way, but they, they do have treasure, so uh, yeah. Get ready for some strong encounters as well. Starting off with... Solaris? Oh my god, Sonic 06? What? I didn't think we were referencing that. But Sonic 06 wasn't even out. I think because Dragon Quest, Dragon Quest 8 came out in Japan 2004. Um, then it came out in America, I think in 2005. And I don't think we got it until 2006. But you, but I know why, because of the whole. I guess just, well, I don't 100 percent know why, but there there was always the issue because, like I say, Dragon Quest 8 was the first one we got, so there was always a bit of a issue I guess with that coming over to Europe and stuff so and that's the strongest troll technically so all right let's go let's go some purples and blues going on here we're called a pull bolts from the blue shadow realm we open the shadow realm there we go time to play my shadow game Yugi boy hmm all the Yu-Gi-Oh references. Oh, he's dead. I'm not even gonna give him a chance. So, I don't. I think the trolls are just well trolls. Look at that damage! Look at that damage! 143. That's like I would even say there are even attacks that rat form don't even hit that hard. What the hell? <laughs> these are just these are just the enemies here. 143 damage, bro. So strong. Brutes. Jeez. Jeez. Ugh. My god. Sorry, my goddess. Because it's a goddess in this game. Eek. Well, there you go. So, yeah. <laughs> now you know <laughs> just how strong. Yeah, taste of how strong the mooks are here, man. They're no joke. Hellspawns. Oh, these are the damage sponge guys, if I remember correctly. Um. Yeah, if I remember correctly, these are the these are the damage sponge guys. Um, so they may take a bit. What I mean by damage sponges, I mean they just kind of take hits. Like, look at that, seven eight. Yeah, they're incredible. Uh, you know, incredible damage sponges. They just take hits like nothing. I think their whole thing is just they throw like breaths and stuff at you. Look at that. 
Yeah, they just like throw like different breaths at you and stuff. That's kind of their gimmick. Fortunately, Angela got hit with the uh, poison breath. That's not good. But um, we should be fine. I'm just gonna attack. I'm just gonna attack, and then we'll do that. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen such, you know, low amounts of damage. They're not dead yet. Still not dead. So much damage sponging going on here, man. Nice dodge, though. His blazing breath. Yep, all the breaths. All the breaths. I guess that kind of makes a change as opposed to like enemies just hitting hard. Their whole gimmick is, you know, frying breaths and stuff. I want to see how much Zap does, and I'll do that. I want to see how much Kaboom does, and then I'll do that. I wonder if, like, Thwack or Kafwack would, like, insta kill them. Yeah, that still does, like, Jack. I want to see it's better to just use her whip, I guess. What about Zap? <laughs> oh my god. No idea what to do! Jesus. So they don't even hit hard, it's just they have status effects and they just take so much damage. The way they dodge was kind of weird, but just because of sleep now. I need like major healing. We're, we're getting there. Oh, I didn't realize I clicked defend. Oops, I didn't mean to. Uh, like, I honestly did not mean to. Hopefully, this will do it, though. Okay, good. Jesus, man. I don't think there's any way to damage them anymore, honestly. I think that's just their thing. They're just damage sponges. I honestly just think that's what they are. Yeah, we need to desperately heal here. Alright. I want to say you don't get the heal when it gets to the fight, but I can't remember if you do or not. I, I want to say you don't. Um, wait. Oh, I went the wrong way, didn't I? I think? No. Ah, uh, this is where it gets confusing. No. I think I am going the right way, I think. I think, yes. It's a maze after all. Right, yeah, I can show you this up here. Yeah, I can show you this up here. You can't, I don't think you can interact with anything though. I don't think, or can you? Can you interact with this or not? Let's see. Okay, you can. It's a tombstone. It's a tombstone. The, in the inscription reads, Here lies my beloved daughter Shia. Uh-oh. This is where Shia died. They did say they did say that she died. That's... That's... Yeah, that's unfortunate. It's also a shame that there's only one set of flowers here. And I, and I bet... I have a feeling I know who put those flowers there. You know? I get the feeling. I know. Chen Mui, you got some explaining to do. All the other graves are like demolished though. Look at that. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But anyway, <laughs> we'll uh, we'll get to that later. Right now we gotta we got an evil dragon to take down. Now I now now I am confused because there's no map. I can't even remember if we get a map, to be honest. Um I wanna say no. Oh, you know what? I'll leave this in. We, we've encountered the Servant of Darkness once. And I honestly forgot that you encounter him here. Because I, I honestly thought you only encountered him once. That was at the Black Citadel. So no, he's here in the early days. Good to know. Just a random Servant of Darkness. Great. <laughs> Great. But he, he doesn't have minions with him, so that's fine. It's just him on his own. Yeah, I don't know if I've gone the right way or not. I'm lost. Well, there's a Trishis up there, so we're good. All right. I didn't do too badly when I was in the cave before, but here I've already sort of forgotten. All right, what we got here? We didn't get an Auricalcom either. Uh, either. Oh, yeah, that's a second da dangerous busty, busty air. I mean, now we've technically, I think, got all of Jessica's outfits because, you know, you can wear the dangerous busty air without upgrading it. Um, 
and she kind of got that like dominatrix look going on um if you're into that <laughs> kinky but um it's not very good as like an as a, you know a viable thing oh i'll leave this in as well because what the invisible swords we haven't encountered these guys yet okay um let's see how much lightning storm does these guys are unaffected by some magic attacks as well, if I remember correctly. Um, does Serpent's Bite attack everyone? No, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> Pink Typhoon. Um, yeah, like I'm pretty certain if I do Kaboom, it won't affect them. Ah. Hmm. Alright, we'll just we'll just attack I guess. And um I'll see if let's see if whack works on these guys. You know. Shadow Realm time. I mean that definitely did a bit more damage. It's a really strong move, but Hey it does. Well, there's a chance. It's not guaranteed, of course, but, you know, I guess, I guess, you know, if you want to risk it, that's a faster way to take them out. And, of course, she's poisoned. Burning breath. Oh, we dodged all that, so that's good. Ouch. Ouchies. Uh, we'll try it on these two. There we go. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. One out of two. That's fine. Well, that's one of those gone. Uh oh. And Yang is asleep. He got his attack out though, I think. So. And now he's awake. Thanks for that. <laughs> nice. Alright, he's gone. Then we just gotta deal with these two. Alright. Sure. Ah, unfortunately. God, finally! Jesus Christ. I don't know, I might edit it out. Um, in case I do, I'll just let you guys know. Uh, those soul spawn crap just kept putting everyone to sleep and uh, slowly poisoning everyone as well um, and no one would wake up and they just wouldn't die it was it was so annoying but if you did see it <coughs> oh oh dear something grew me there I'm sorry uh, but if you did see it there well there you go that was hell of annoying all right now we've looped back now we can go forward the, the middle part, which is where we need to go, but... Oh, I'm not going to avoid them from now on as much as I can, because my god, almost killed Yankus, drained his health completely, and Yankus has got the most HP. You know? So I'm going to be desperately trying to avoid uh, as much as possible. Oops, from now on, so... Ooh, there's another treasure chest down there. But I don't remember what it is. What we got? Ah, a mini metal. I do believe here is where we get the, um, I think another skull helm. Oh, fuck these. <laughs> I saw some, I saw those hell spawns. I was like, nah, mate. Now, nah, but if you want to go to the right path, the left path is cut off. You can just about see it. Yeah, so don't waste your time. Yeah, I think this is where we get the uh, the, the last skull helm. So we make a sun crown. So we can make the second Timbrel of Tension. Yeah, you can only get it in post-game. Uh, that's how you get the second one. So we definitely want to grab that. For sure. Having two would be really helpful. Granted, you know, we can get we can get past Ratform fine. But that's not the reason why. 
but we do have these like magical looking stairs that kind of remind me of the the moon, the moon harp shadow guy they look really nice like glass yeah we're not quite done yet still got a bit to uh to go but we are constantly going up i guess it's kind of cool i mean this is called heavenly dais because we're going high up in the sky okay now this is where i don't know if i'm going the right way or not i don't think there's anything up here but i'm going up here anyway oh okay what well, these are holy bishops appear we're going to give the team a go i don't even remember which team this is Oh, it's this team. That's fine. I was like, I'm not sure about the slimes. They might die if they're too slow because they have to fuse. Sure. Although I gotta remember that using the team does cost MP, so you can't just use them willy nearly. If you don't have the MP, you can't use them. Oh, cause snooze. I like how we did that. It kind of reminded me of a Kamehameha the way he did that. The motion. If anyone, if anyone knows Dragon Ball, well, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Kamehameha motion. Kamehame snooze. Yeah, getting the double attack. Cut him up. Pa! Yeah, look at that. Well, uh, kind of like Hadouken. I mean, I'm sure people have made this joke hundreds of times. Like, you know, like Ken and Ryu doing like Hadouken. It's just like a Kamehameha motion type of thing. I don't know which came first, but... Oh. Oh, they can bring their, their brethren back. That's no good. We might not even finish them off because... Our uh, big friend is asleep. Yeah. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, thank God for that. Yeah, we didn't even get to finish him. That was annoying. Oh, well. Uh, I, can, I can call them again because i got two teams. I, I wasn't sure. I couldn't remember if you could do that. Let's do... Just to be safe, let's do multi shot. <clears throat> we managed to get a bit of damage done with the monsters. Yeah, so one's gone. So that's good. There we go. The unholy bishop. Alright. Nothing up here, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Alright. Um, what about the left side? Oh, we'll, we'll go both sides. I know there's a treasure chest around here somewhere. Oh, it is here. Okay, I'm glad I went to the left side then. <clears throat> this is the Skull Helm, maybe? Oh, it's another mini metal. Okay, that's fine. I can't remember where the Skull Helm is. Alright, now we can get into the middle puffs. Yeah, I like these, like, floating crystal, crystal slash glass looking stairs. They just look really nice, man. I don't know. Magical. <laughs> they look cool. And they're everywhere. And there's a treasure chest up there. I see it. Gimme. Or oh, I won't want to fall down there. Luckily, we can't just walk off the edge. There's like an invisible barrier. So, you know, we don't have to worry about falling off type of thing. Oh, we haven't encountered the, ha the Hell's Gatekeeper. So, I guess it's time to... The Shadow Realm time again. <laughs> it's time for the Shadow Realm. Mm. We'll try Shining Shot this time. So, see, sh Shining Shot doesn't affect certain type of enemies, so... Yeah, doesn't affect them. Okay, good to know. I don't know why, but they don't. They don't affect them. Oh, they're not affected by... Are they not affected by magic at all? Magical, or maybe, like, elemental type stuff? You know? Like, anything that's, like, an element, like... Uh, technically, light is classed as an element in this, so, like... Fire, water, ice. And there's not even any water moves, is there? It's just ice moves. Oh. That's like, I think that's like Ratform's move. Calling meteors down, I think. Interesting. Well, I want to take those guys out as soon as I can, because they're going to hit hard. And not everything that's happening right now. That's unfortunate. He's soaking up again. That's not good. Oh my god. It's calling for backup. Okay. No. Ah, uh, no. Let's do multi uh, shot. 
So physical damage mainly. Zap works though. I guess Zap is like the the exception to that rule. I'm not sure why, but it is. I'm not complaining per se. I'm just saying like I guess it's just the, the exception to the rule. Okay, cool. Good. I just want to be sure, so I did that. Now, I think there is a very small chance to encounter a Metal King Slime here, I want to say. There's the Aura Calcom. It was here. I was getting confused. The Skull Helm, I think, is right before the entrance to where the, the Lord of the Dragons is, I think. Pice Dragon. Like, I mean, I, I'm guessing it's just, you know, a dead dragon, obviously. A dragon fossil head. But, yeah, I think it's this one, right? I think it's this one that has it. Yes! Alright, cool. Unfortunately, we can't do alchemy here at all. We have to leave the Dragovian world before we can get into alchemy, which is kind of unfortunate, but... Because King, Tro King Trode and Medea aren't here. It would have been cool if they were here, though. I know Medea wouldn't be able to interact, but she'd be able to see, and... Trode interaction might be interesting, but... Oh, nice gate, dude. <laughs> nice gate. I'm just complimenting this place. <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> You've got a nice place here. Can I just say? <laughs> Highly strong cheese. Well, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot I got that. That's, that's basically a, uh, a one-time... Also, Munchie's with us, so we can use Munchie's. That's good. Um, right, let's see. Do I want to give it to... Yeah, um, I'll do what I what I normally do. I know I know Yangus is going to be slower, but I want to kind of like guarantee, or at least more likely guarantee that Angela will heal and stuff. Um, and giving it to Hero is fine. It's absolutely fine. I'll uh, yeah, I don't need that elevating shoes if I'm in battle, so. Um, I think Mysterious Bastia is fine. Um, the Lord of Dragovians is very sort of aggressive in terms of physical attacks. He will, of course, do fire breaths because he's a dragon, but he is just very aggressive. Um, you, you know, like physically. So, that's fine. Yeah, I think that that's fine. Uh, do I have any, like, just random herbs? Not really. Okay. Well, that's my fault. You know, just to save on MP and stuff, but, yeah, that's fine. Well, I can use this. There you go. Sure. That's a heal. Uh, do I, do I have any, like, big heals on me? Yeah, I have you. Maybe I should give it to Yangus. Because the hero has Omni Heal and, and other healing stuff, so... Makes sense to give it to someone who doesn't really have much healing going on there. Anything else? Let's have a look. What do you do again? Oh, restores MP. Well, that's good. i got plenty of these, so fuck it. Why not? Nice. Why not? Even before I do get healed, but I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Oh, there we go. Strong medicine. Give it to, give it to her. Uh, special antidote. Uh, give it to you. And special Angelo. It's Angelo? It's special Angelo. I know what I said. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright. Okay, I think we should be good, honestly, for now. As best as we can be. I mean, I could have grinded, but... Alright, let's open this gate. I'm as ready... Pretty much as I could be, I suppose. Apart from levels, but... Again, I feel like it's one of those bosses where, even if you are a higher level, it's going to give you trouble no matter what. So, especially because of one thing. As we get into it. Also, look.